Hey, what's dripping YouTube? It's your boy Stoke here. Yo, guys, listen. This video is for those who already have a PS5 or are thinking about purchasing a PS5. All right? And also for the uh, Xbox uh, you know, owners as well. But guys, listen. Right now, I know a lot of y'all know, and if you don't know, the PS5 does not come with an optical port. Okay? It does not come with an optical port. So those who are... Uh, rocking the Astro A40, such as myself, or any Astro series, you have a mix out. Be advised. Listen, be advised. You will need, especially if you're a streamer, you will need to purchase an uh, a splitter, some type of adapter. And the adapter that I do have is called an uh, it's from Insignia, that brand. It's called the HDMI Audio Extractor. And I'm gonna show you all right now what I have. Sit right here. Let me see if I can see this what I have what it looks like okay if you want to purchase this like I said if you just are a regular casual gamer uh, this might not be no need for you all uh, you can hear your audio your game audio good but for those who do stream such as myself right those who do stream you want to make sure that your stream your audience can hear the game audio sound effect they'll be able to hear your voice because you, you will be using your microphone, but they will not get any game sound, right? And you wanna make sure that you're pleasing your audience. But again, make sure this is a must buy, okay? Uh, I did see Astro do have an adapter, but they were sold out. I'm pretty sure they'll be back in stock within the next uh, few weeks, sometime between December 1st to the 15th. But I did not wanna wait that long, so I did wanna go ahead and purchase one from Best Buy. That one from Best Buy, and it's called again, and it's an Insignia HDMI audio extractor. All right, guys. And uh, like I said, it's real simple. Make sure, I will repeat, make sure, guys, listen, make sure that you do have an extra HDMI cable because it will be needed. All right, it will be needed. I'm gonna also give y'all another tip that, uh, that's gonna help you all out if you run into a a bump in the road that you would not if you're not getting any kind of visual on your screen okay what you're gonna do is on the on the front of it and you'll see that the power light is on once you plug it in you have an hdmi in right this way you connect your playstation hdmi you're in okay now this is where the second hdmi cable come in at you'll plug that into the hdmi out and plug that into your elgato whatever elgato you're using i currently use and uh, Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II. You'll plug it from here, this HDMI from the out port, and you'll plug it to the in port of your Elgato. Okay? So listen, and also, another tip, and not even a tip, make sure uh, from your, your mix out, you take that optical cable, and you run your optical cable into your, your, your extractor. Okay? Make sure you plug that in. All right? So guys, now this is why I say the bonus tip do come in there. When you run, or if you run into the issue, okay, if you run to the issue where in your preview window, you can see the, your gameplay or the game itself or the home screen on your PlayStation, but when you switch your monitor into a HDMI mode and you're getting the no signal, that is because your setting will reset or have reset it. So what you have to do is go plug your PlayStation directly into a monitor and go into your settings okay go into your settings you make sure that you can uh go locate where you can go change your resolution all right you're going to go change your resolution and you'll change it because it's already going to be set to automatic which is going to be automatically to 4k and if you have a 1080p monitor or a 1440p it would not it would not convert over you either go into those settings and switch your better your settings from 4K to 1080p, whatever your monitor resolution is. Once you do that, then once your HDMI mode, your input, and your, your screen will display your, your gameplay, your uh, PS5 gameplay. So right now I'm gonna show you all, I'm gonna hook it up. And my apologies guys, if y'all heard any kind of static during that talk, if, if you heard any static because I had everything unplugged just so I can show you all the visual of the actual adapter, at least the visual of it. Uh, hope you don't hear that static anymore. So now, uh, what I'm gonna show you all now is that I'm gonna switch to my HDMI mode. And of course, you have to go through all the settings. You have to go through all the steps as well. I'm gonna show you all now. 
what it's going to display. This is what it displays. And if you went through this already, like I said, if you went through this already and it goes back to this screen, it's because your, your setting has, uh, you have to reset them, right? It's going to reset. You have to go back in and, and adjust everything. So you're going to go here to OK. And like I said, when you go, once you go into your settings and you go into the tab of screen and video, you select that. And inside of your video output, where it says resolution, okay? This is where you select what type of monitor you have. Please, guys, make sure that you are selecting the correct resolution. And if it does not, like I say, if it does not show a display when you originally do this, you do have to take the extra step of plugging your PS5 directly into a monitor. That way, you can adjust these settings. And once you adjust these settings, you'll be good to go. I'm gonna switch mine to 1080p. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You know, hey, streamers who've been looking for a method, this is the method, this is, uh, but this is the other alternative option that you have because I don't know why, uh, you no, know, Sony didn't add an opt optimal, um, you no know, cable or port for us to use. You know, I know they had the same issue or you no know, build with the uh, PS4 Slim. Uh, the Pro didn't have this issue, but I, I know the Slim did, and now the PS5, we, we say it's an issue, but this is what we run into, and this, this is how you fix it. So make sure, guys, you go go ahead and snatch up that HDMI audio extractor. And guys, I really hope this video really did help you out. If I missed anything or you want to know anything, leave a comment down below. I do not mind helping anybody out because I know it's all needed, and I know I needed that help as well. Still going to join this video. Go ahead and toss up that like button. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, which I know a lot of you are, and if you enjoy this content, go ahead and toss up that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. If, if y'all want to come through my live streams, have fun, rock out with me. I do live stream on Twitch every single day from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Y'all come through and rock out with your boy. It'd be greatly appreciated. All right? Hey, YouTube, it's been fun. It's been real. Y'all go back. Go get y'all stuff set up. Go slay out. One love.